so I wanted to share with you my Black Friday haul that I did. Um, I went to one store only because the mall was absolutely ridiculous on Black Friday and the lineups alone were like just long and I've been not feeling that great and so I figured I may as well just go and get the things that actually were exciting to me and um, just go back home and relax and enjoy my day. So I got a few things at Rise and Body Works which is really, really exciting because I've been wanting to get some of their more seasonal candles um, because they smell absolutely amazing and I wanted to try out some new products so I did branch out this time and I didn't just get my usual which is just candles. Um, what else do I usually get? Body sprays. I didn't just get like body mists and candles. I actually got two new products and multiple variations of them. So I'm going to start with my candles because that is what I am the most used to trying. First thing I did was they had these candles, these little 1.6 ounces, and these ones were three for six dollars, and that is actually really really good because I think their normal price is like three fifty each. If I'm not mistaken, I could totally be wrong. It usually says on the bottom. Well, apparently they're free. It doesn't say anything on the bottom, but I got three of the little tiny one wick candles, and they are in the scent Peach Bellini, and I love this scent so much. Peach Bellini is such a fresh, fruity scent, and at this time of year, sometimes you really need to have that like bright, freshening up smell. Smell going through the house, and so yeah, I just decided to get three, mostly for bath times and just mellowing down the evenings. And then for my three wick candles, these were all um, two for twenty-two dollars. Uh, I believe they were two for twenty in the states, or even potentially better than that but um they are two for 22 here in Canada and I got myself four of them one of them I'm actually burning in the back right now and that is Twinkling Night and I love the sticker on it um it's this really really cute um pink label with like sparkles all over it it's just really really pretty and it's got such a fragrant like a sweet fruity I don't know what fruit it is that it smells like but it's like this really sweet 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 candle and I adore it. It is my favorite one. That is why I'm burning it non-stop in the back. And then the next one that I got that I've been burning like crazy, well not like crazy but enough, is the Cranberry Pear Bellini and yes I got Peach Bellini and then I got this one but they're just so fresh and so nice and I really 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 love the way that they smell just in general in the apartment. And I'm definitely getting way back into candles now that um, the Christmas season has started to come. The next one that I got was Vanilla Snowflake. And I am so excited about this. I find this picture absolutely adorable. Just the little mittens hanging off of the tree. I thought it was really, really, really cute. So I'm so excited about this. And it really smells like... It smells like snow and vanilla. It really smells like vanilla snow. And it's weird because I don't know how to describe the smell of snow. Because snow is just water and it shouldn't technically have a smell, but like the way that it smells the first snowfall, um, or like after a fresh bed of snow has fallen on the ground and you have that wonderful fresh fragrant smell, you mix that with the smell of vanilla and it's a warm vanilla and it's just amazing. I love it. So I definitely, definitely suggest giving this one a try if you're looking for a new candle this season. And then the last candle that I got for myself was sparkling icicles and I wasn't sure how this was going to smell and I was like how do icicles smell? Kind of the same way that snow doesn't really smell but this is just I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. It's very it's kind of got a cologne feel to it like it kind of smells like a perfume but it's not a strong one. It is a subtle very fresh very um citrusy I guess. Yeah, I smell a bit of citrusy in there, and it's amazing. It is so fresh, and it's it's cold but warm. I don't know how to explain it, but I just really like these candles. So those are the candles that I got, and those are so exciting. Now, next are the things that I branched out and got, and this is something that I've been kind of debating with myself on whether or not to get because we've got a relatively large apartment. It's a three-bedroom apartment, and we have like this open concept kitchen dining room. Um, as well as a pretty large, well-sized, well-spaced out living room. And I was kind of going around back and forth in my head on whether or not I wanted to get a wallflower um, because I know that they can get really, really strong and I know that um, 
I mean, with a cat, we have a cat, and I didn't want her to start like attacking it. But then I figured they were on sale. Um, the wallflowers themselves, which I got, they're really, really cute snowflake ones. I got two of these. One is out in the wall right now in our dining room. But these were all um, regular price $8.50 for this wallflower, and I got it for $5, which was really awesome. Um, basically $3.50 off, which was great. But I got two little snowflake ones, which I think are literally the cutest thing ever. For winter, I wanted to get like the Christmassy Christmassy ones, but I think that this is something a little bit more realistic with this time of year, just because I don't want to not be able to use it for the rest of the year or the winter. And this really does just tie in with the entire theme of winter instead of just Christmas. So I thought it would be more practical on my first wildflowers to get something that I could give a good, decent amount of trying for. And the wallflower that I have outside in our dining room area right now is the Merry Mistletoe. And it is just, this was its little tag, no big deal, it was a bulb, it's plugged into the wall now. Um, and then I got myself, because I loved my cranberry pear bellini candle so much, I decided that I would go and get the wallflower version of it. So I may or may not be putting this in my office. I really don't know if you can reattach these lids and I really don't want to plug it in and find out it's too strong and then go to take it out and find out that the lid doesn't go back on. So I'm kind of nervous about plugging it in, but I think I'm going to read up online about them and figure that all out. If you guys have any idea, definitely leave it in the comments below because I am a complete newbie to these wallflowers, but I really like them and I really want to have the scent of cranberry pear bellini all throughout my room, um, my office. And then, um, the third one that I got, by the way, these ones were two for five dollars, which is a really, really nice deal because I believe these are $7.50 each. So, $7.50 each and I got two for five dollars, which means I, in the end, I got ten dollars off, which is awesome, like really awesome. So the next one that I got was winter. It's the smell, it's a scent winter, and it's a very fresh, very fragrant, um, sort of uplifting. It's like that warm winter feeling scent I find, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And then the same as my sparkling icicles candle, um, I really, really enjoyed it. So I decided to go ahead and get myself the wallflower version of that as well. Um, I was gonna branch out and get some more like, um, like fresh balsam or something like that, but I decided that I, I'd spice it up and do something that's a little more um, out there for me. So I'm really excited to try those and I will definitely let you guys know um, on here, if not through my blog, which will be linked below, um, about how that all goes and my experience with wallflowers for the first time. Now the last thing that I did get at Bath & Body Works was hand soap and I know that's probably not the most interesting thing for you guys to hear about. But I was so, so excited because my favorite scent of the season is out, and that is Vanilla Bean Noel. And I love, 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 love this scent. It is so... Ugh, I have to open it again. Ugh, I love this scent. This is my favorite scent of the winter season. Um, I was going to get the the three bit candle but they didn't have any left in stock so I decided that I would go ahead and get myself a soap but the soaps were 10 for $30 or 5 for $20 and I figured well why not just go ahead and get five. So I did, I got five of them. I was gonna go for 10 and I was gonna give them as gifts but I was carrying a ton of stuff and I was like you know what I don't know and I don't know what people are gonna like and some people are really picky so I decided I'd just go ahead and get it for boyfriend and I so I got Noelle and this is in our bathroom right now well, it's going to be in our bathroom right now um for just everyday uses and I love that because it is such a great scent and then in our kitchen we, right now we have I got two of these ones because I adore this scent and this is something that I've been really enjoying with the winter cranberry which is so it's a very tart um, when you think of like a tart, dry cranberry juice, this is exactly the scent that you think of. And I just find, oh, I love it. Oh, I like that scent. Um, but I find that this time of year, this is just such a Christmassy scent and it really makes me think of Christmas. They did have like holiday wreath and stuff, but those ones just didn't quite scream Christmas to me the way that this one did. Um, and then this one, I think I'm actually going to give to my sister, and God, I hope she doesn't watch this video because she's getting it for Christmas. 
but this is sparkling pink champagne and my boyfriend seems to think that it smells like bubblegum but I don't know I kind of it has a bit of a bubblegummy smell to it I guess but um I feel like my senses are being influenced by him saying that so but I thought it was really cute she loves all things pink and so I thought she would like to have this in her bathroom especially when she's at school so that's for my sister and then this one which I actually got for Mark for my boyfriend and I thought oh my gosh he's gonna love this he's gonna absolutely love it and I brought it home and he smelled them all and it was his least favorite he liked the bubblegum smelling one more than he liked this one and this is the iced gingerbread and I was so excited about this but I'm gonna see if I don't have somebody who might like it and I can give it to them oh, as a Christmas present I like gingerbread but this is really strong so I kind of get what he's saying when he says it's not his style but at the same time I thought it would just be really cute and festive and I was wrong but oh well some people really enjoy this and I cannot wait to give it as a gift so that is my Bath and Body Works haul for Black Friday and I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any comments or questions definitely leave them below I'd love to hear what your favorite scents are from Bath and Body Works this holiday season and to know what you guys got for Black Friday so definitely leave comments below make sure to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe and definitely check back for more videos have a nice day guys bye